Hello ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Spirit here, and I'm back from being sick, so it's great to be back. Uh, the video footage you're going to be watching is a scrim that I had in practice, but I'm not going to be talking about it. As you may have seen in the title, we're talking about Mini Sentry versus Level 3 Sentry. Now, this is a b debate that's been going on for a bit of what sentry is actually better, mini sentry or level 3, and there's a lot to pretty well go through. Uh, let's start with some pros and cons of them. Let's start with the mini sentry since I'm on offense first. Mini sentry pros. Disposable. You don't need to repair it. Only costs 100 metal. It's fast building. It has a level 3's aiming system. It puts out slightly higher damage than a level 1. However, there's a lot of cons to it too. It goes down really easy. It costs half your metal. It's easily destroyed. It has a light on it to give away its location if hidden into a branch or that. And it doesn't work very well with the Wrangler most of the times either. However, it can still work with the Wrangler. It has its moments. It's not great for holding a defense while you're on offense, such as a base. So, why do people like the Mini? Is it just because they can spam it? Because it doesn't require any real setup? On, on defense, I've seen engineers run it. It's great for distraction and teams with DM skill. But for a team that doesn't have that, wouldn't a level 3 be better? So let's break down what a level 3 can do. Let's start with the pros. Level 3 has both two barrel machine guns and four rockets loaded into it for a big massive damage to an enemy. It has defensive power of holding an area and causes more threat. It has more health than your mini century and repair. It can be repaired along with adding metal back into it. The cons are you're not going to carry it very much. It's not something you're going to move around a whole lot. It's only useful if the engineer's around. If the engineer's gone, it can easily be taken out. If it's wrangled, it can do devastating damage to a combo. Being a medic, heavy, demo man, pyro, it can do massive damage, especially if they don't have uber. The cons, though, really, really hurt it. You can barely move it. It costs a lot of metal. Overall, it takes 130 tish to put down the level 1, and then an additional 400 to upgrade to a level 3. So it takes 530 metal to go from level 1 to a level 3. That's a lot of metal and a lot of time. Now, what, why do people prefer the Mini over the level 3? On defense, I, I love my level 3s. On offense, I love my level 3s as well. But it doesn't mean I'm not going to use the Mini. I get a lot of new players like the Mini because they like to roam around as engineer fire stuff, but the engineer really wasn't designed to be a combat class. He was meant to be a support class. And as a support class, your job's supporting your team. Not anything else. And you want to be supporting your team. That's why the engineer was designed to be a level 3 sentry guy. So, why is it that the Mini is so overused? As I see it, a lot of people really do like this for roaming, 
being the scout, but without the speed. They don't support their team, and they just rush in head on thinking the mini's going to save them. And it's not. It really. A smart player will attack the mini first and leave you be. Why? The mini can lock on. Sure, you can drop a second one, but what happens when you run out of your 200 metal and there's no drop weapons or ammo packs nearby to replenish it? You're out of luck. And trying to hold an area with it? It's not going to work. The mini is really there for engineers who are high up on their deathmatching skills. For those who actually know how to aim their shotgun and fight with it. Mini is a disposable teammate. He's there to back you up, but he's just as vulnerable as you are. Now the 25 health boost from the gunslinger itself is quite useful. It gives you a bit more survivability on offense when you're on cart duty pushing the cart. And it also gives you that survivability when helping with the push. But when it comes to anything else, the stock wrench can really put out a bigger damage. And why wouldn't you want that extra damage and holding power? As I see at level 3, a lot of players don't like it because it's really hard to move and takes too much time for setup. But, let, let's break it down like this. What if you use level 3 for offense to hold your ground? It's very powerful, and a lot of classes can't just walk by it. A uh, heavy that has to come at it from long range can't destroy it. It'll destroy the heavy before the heavy. A demo man, he's got more survivability against it in terms of he's meant to destroy it, but what happens if it catches him up close? He's no longer a demo man, he's a dead man. So, I, I want to know what you guys think. What's the better sentry? Do you think the mini's better, or do you think the level 3's better? And you can base your opinion on your favorite style of map too, whether it be cough, payload, capture point. I'm pretty sure there's something that everyone likes. And for me personally, I love my level 3. Not just because I have the Australian wrench, but because I can be helpful to my team in holding an area, having a defense. Without that defense, my team wouldn't be up front if they didn't have the DM skills that are required. But they had the team skills. Now, when it comes to a mini sentry, I like it for cough, it's small, it's fast, it works. But for payload, not so much. Now, another thing that comes to mind with sentries, both mini and level 3, is why do people fear them? Why are people scared of these things? They're inanimate, they don't move, they can't heal themselves. All they can really do is just aim. Aim and shoot. And if that's all they can do, that's not really much of a threat. That's more of a joke. And to me, if you're scared of a century, just because you have this 40 kill streak or 5 kill streak, or you've got 9, 10 dominations of the server, you're scared of losing them all to a century? You have much more problems to worry about. Your ego needs to calm down. I had nine dominations on the crit sandwich server. I threw seven of them away to take down a century twice so my team can win. I didn't care if I had those doms anymore. I cared about that. Hey, my team's tr uh, scared of this century. Why is it scared? Is it because pyros are usually around them? If you're scared of the pyro, well then, you really need to 
start checking yourself here because the pyro is not really that much of a threat. If you're a soldier, okay, minor threat, but you learn to mistime your shots and aim around the pyro. You hit the ground, the pyro has nothing to do. What's he gonna do? Reflect? Oh, it hit the ground and I mistimed it. And, oh, he's firing at wrong intervals. Well, now I'm just messed up. I don't know what to air blast at. Or if you got a shotgun as soldier, pull it out. Pyro can't reflect bullets. Are, are you scared because an engineer can wrangle and heal their sentry? Yes, that, that's a legit reason come a level 3, but come, come a mini sentry? Anyone can deal with a mini sentry. In Highlander, it's everyone's job to deal with a mini sentry. If it is seen, you immediately aim for the mini sentry. You do not let that stay up. It can cause too much havoc unattended. But a level 3 wrangled, yes, that's a threat. Especially if the engineer can pull off tactics like the Sigfu save or use the rockets to jump and get somewhere else high and pull the gun with the rescue ranger. You really shouldn't be scared of a sentry. Level 1, 2, 3, mini. Doesn't matter, a sentry shouldn't be scary. Demo man, spy, soldier, heavy, pyro. I've taken out sentries as a medic. They're not scary. You really shouldn't have to worry. And what I find as a big threat is you, you don't you don't think of it as a threat. Think of it as a minor inconvenience. If all you do is think of everything as a threat, it, it's going to end bad. And everyone should be worried about a sentry, not just the demo men. You, you should know, okay, we have a sentry to deal with. Let's deal with it. And when we're dealing with it, don't be afraid. If a medic ubers in against the sentry, you go in with them. The uber's going to be in front. They're going to take the aggro of the sentry. And when they've got the aggro, you come in, you help shoot it. It'll go down faster. Trust me, teamwork against sentries is good. Now, if you're fighting versus a combo of sentries, a mini and a level three, you, you get out. You get out and you help your team. When they push them with the Uber, they deal with the level 3. They'll have the attention of a mini for a bit. And that gives you time to help your team take out that mini. So, what's really a threat here? Is it a player? Or is it the inanimate sentry that has partial aimbot? That requires it to lock on. What really is it? As I see it, the sentry is never a threat. It's the engineer who's the threat. And if you're scared of an engineer with a, a sentry gun, you probably should be, because they're gonna know what to do. If they're new, probably not so much. But a well-trained engineer can make any sentry into a real threat. But if you go into a public game and you get scared of a sentry, just know that that sentry usually will fall fast. Just because. And as it goes, you should never let a public game intimidate you. Just think of it th this way. A sentry gets kills, but the engineer has to be there to make sure it stays up to get those kills. If you're really scared of the sentry, kill the engineer. 
you kill the engineer, that sentry is no longer going to be a threat. Even if you throw away your life and your kill streak, getting rid of that engineer will probably give you that big confidence boost you need. And if you keep pushing at an aggressive pace and not allow the engineer to set up, you're, you're at an even greater advantage. And that's what really will give you your confidence. Never think you're in a bad position. So, just remember, sentries will never really be a threat, and having them in verses will never be a threat either. Just remember, your level 3 or your mini, the decision you make with it will determine on how effective the sentry really is. If it's if it's a mini, it's probably not going to be effective. And if it's level 3, it may not be as effective either. Just keep those things in mind, guys. As engineers, I know you, you can do it. I know you can. You follow this channel, and I know you guys can learn a lot. So never forget that. So, since I'm back from being sick, I just want everyone to remember, we do have Facebook. There is a link in the description for it. Uh, you can join the Steam community group for events and that. We're, we're getting bigger and all that, and, and you can start discussions. And I'm still looking for questions for the Q&A on the discussion board. So you can go ahead and ask me some questions. And as always, let's build something in the next one.